Hello, everybody. Good morning. Um, hope everybody is doing well this morning. <clears throat> Welcome to this final uh, live stream of this live week. I have so enjoyed doing these live streams this week uh, and coming to you on various topics um, Hello, about show. Whoops. Had my, myself there on the screen. Sorry about that. Um, making sure everything was there. Um, at any rate, sorry about that. Um, so the topic this morning is learning cello online. Some thoughts for the fall to help set you up for some better learning, uh, some better practice, I hope. All right. And this is also, as always, you know, Q&A, you know, please put some comments down in the, uh, well, in, in the, sorry, in the comment section, lost my train of thought there. Um, and let me know. I would love answering your questions. Uh, please, please, please put those, put those in there. Some reflective thoughts after the pandemic. What have we learned about online learning? You know, what can we take away? I know, you know, during the pandemic, many musicians and music teachers uh, were frustrated, you know, because of the sound quality. Uh, there's, a, there's a barrier there when learning uh, on Zoom, admittedly, and for for many uh you know the technology it's almost there it's close and you can get a lot done it's it's amazing what we were able to accomplish learning online and i would just say a couple of tips by the way a couple of tech tips you know <clears throat> make sure you're hardwired in that 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 matters um if you are learning online and doing zoom lessons or facetime or whatever um that you have the absolute best internet connection you can get. I think everybody thinks that, you know, oh, I, I, you know, I watch my Netflix and my Prime Video and Disney Plus and whatever else you're streaming, and so it's all fine. Well, playing a musical instrument and uploading it, okay, uploading something from your computer um, is very, very different from downloading the streaming that you are watching on your smart TV. So, um, Ethernet, hardwire from the laptop. That is the only way to go uh, when you are learning online. Um, and, of course, good microphone helps. Uh, but what my, my big idea takeaway is that, you know, with all of the stuff that was being posted during the pandemic and all of the, the resources that came on, my, my big takeaway that I would share with you is that everybody's got to get better about learning from different sources. You know, don't just accept one source. Don't just go to one place. Don't just watch this channel, <laughs> all right? Um, watch this video. Uh, finish this video. Finish this live stream. But, you know, watch as many of the great and wonderful cello channels that are out there. You know, here you have to hear it from more than one place. And I think that online is the absolute best supplement youtube is the absolute best supplement to your learning that has ever been created it is so amazing as an additional resource to the lessons that you're already in because you know <clears throat> the reason i created the you know the practice guides was to help students you know you're there with your teacher one day a week you know for an hour maybe even just 30 minutes and then who's with you the other six days of the week you know you need reminders you need guidance when you're practicing i mean the in-person lesson the one-on-one -on -one with the teacher is absolutely critical and then 
the support the other six days of the week is absolutely critical. So that's why, you know, I would never, as far as online learning, you know, and all the frustrations of of Zoom and, and sound quality and yada, 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 I would never throw the baby out with the bathwater. Um, in fact, I would double down on, you know, watching tutorials, seeing what different people are saying, um, but going and watching it in different places. You know, this is this is so, so critical. And one thing I want to say uh, here on the channel is, you know, there is a recession coming. Um, everybody's saying it. And so what I'm going to do actually is start offering the practice guides um, for free here on the channel. Uh, yeah, because I think I think it's that important. I think it's so needed and this resource is so incredible and I want to help everybody and I want everybody to have access to this going forward, you know, no matter what. And so you're going to start seeing those. I've already posted some with hot cross buns. I posted one with perpetual motion. But going forward here in the year, you're going to see I've got a French folk song in the works. But you're going to see a lot more of those from me here on the channel. Absolutely free. Absolutely free. So if there's something you're working on and you're really, you're really liking the guides and you're really wanting them um, and there's one that you need, then uh, please, 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 uh, you know, leave me a comment, shoot me an email, and let me know what you need here on the channel. I love posting this stuff. I love helping everyone, and I hope that it is a help to you. Um, if there's a question... out there as I sip my coffee here early in the morning. If you're still here and you're still watching this video, maybe you're watching it on the replay there. Um, let's see. I'm going to do something I've never done here on the channel. Here we go. Um, I've never done this. I'm going to respond to a very interesting comment I got this morning that I want to share with all of you. Now let me. I gotta find it first, though. There it is. Hold on one second. I want to, uh, I don't know, how do I do this here? Whoops. Oh, it's been a while. Ah, uh, there it is. Okay. It says here, you can see it there on the screen. It says, from Sharon S., you're making it sound like a fiddle. That's not good. It's too beautiful for that. Well, thank you for the comment, Sharon. Uh, that's an interesting comment. What I put in the reply was, I won't play it here, but what I put in the reply, I'll pin, um, I'll pin the video here. I'll show you the reply. Um, which was this video right here, okay, which I will put in the chat here for us. Um, comments. Um, whoops, what did it do? What did it copy there? Um, Anyway, so did it copy the link? I just wanted to. Co oh, I see what it did. Whoops. Let's do that again. 
Thank you for your patience. There it is. Um, so, yeah. Um, interesting comment. You're making it sound like a fiddle. Um, in the video there, if you go and watch it, and I hope that you will go and watch it, uh, it's quite interesting because uh, Yo-Yo Ma, who recorded all of the Appalachian stuff with Mark O'Connor and Edgar Meyer, and he's there in this video talking about, you know, this music, this wonderful music that he learned with Edgar Meyer and Mark O'Connor and how this music inspired him to think differently about Bach. Isn't that fascinating? And what he's playing is a fiddle tune, okay, on the cello. Appalachian waltz. And, or Appalachian waltz, excuse me. And it's funny because he's, you know, get this comment, you're making the cello sound like a fiddle. And this is what I'm talking about when it comes to learning online. That you have to broaden your horizons. You have to expand your thinking about what you're doing um, with the cello. There's, you know, it's the only way to, and I'm not just talking about it like on a philosophical level, like growing as a musician, you know, emotionally. I'm talking about the functional stuff. I'm talking about getting your fingers to the right notes, getting your bow to the right place to make a good tone. You know, playing all those double stops in Appalachian Waltz or any tune or any kind of fiddle tune, it just makes you a better player. I mean, whether you like the style or not, it's good for you. And this is the kind of thinking that I wish we all had more of so that we could... <coughs> excuse me, build our community here of of cello online, of online cello learning here in the digital realm. Forgive me. So anyway, uh, in, interesting comment there on the on the channel. But I do I do appreciate all the comments that I get. So I was I was uh, happy to respond to that one. Uh, okay. I think I'm going to wrap it up. If there's no questions. I appreciate you guys. I look forward to doing this again in the future. <coughs> Have a great year. Of course, I, I say this like I'm never going to, not going to do any live streams uh, over the course of the year. That's not the case. But just here as we kick off the fall and get back to school uh, and get back to our, our different routine here after summer. Uh Good luck to everyone, and uh, I will see you here on the channel. Thanks so much.